Hey, Psych2Goers. Have you ever wondered why you are the way you are right now? When we're a child, our impressionable young minds are like sponges. Have you ever had a kid around you repeat what you said casually, especially curse words you let slip accidentally? This ability to learn goes deeper than simply repeating curses though. And whether or not we realize it, these lessons shape the entire rest of our lives. Here are eight childhood lessons you should unlearn. One, children shouldn't show their emotions. As a child, have your parents ever told you, just calm down when you're throwing a tantrum? Saying things like just calm down during tantrums might teach you that your emotions are wrong. If that's the case, you may bottle up your emotions because you lack the skill to handle emotions healthily. A good way to start changing that is to talk about the emotions so you don't act them out in an unhealthy way. Two, intelligence is measured by grades alone. Do your parents care about your grades more than anything else? Einstein once said, if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it's stupid. Some kids are really good at sports or at art or music. Others have high emotional intelligence. If that's the case, emphasizing grades alone might damage their self-esteem. Three, they can get whatever they want. In life, we can't always get what we want. That's something everyone needs to learn at some point. And the younger we are when we learn that lesson, the better. Did your parents simply give you whatever you asked for all the time when you were a child? If so, it might be tough for you to accept failure or rejection as an adult. Or, you should always try to fit in with other people. Did your parents worry when you were struggling to fit in? Kids are often under a great deal of pressure to fit in or try to be popular. Peer pressure is a common foe, as young people try to figure out their identities. And it seems like fitting in with everyone else is the only way to survive. But the reality is not everyone's gonna like you. That's life, and that's okay. Being unique is a good thing because it's what makes you special, and that's important in society. Five, failure is the worst possible outcome. How do you deal with failure? Did your parents only look for A grades in your report? Not doing something well enough isn't the worst possible outcome. Childhood is a time of growth and learning, and you should be free to explore things you might enjoy or be good at. Six, taking a break is unacceptable. Did your parents keep your schedule jam-packed with so many activities and extracurriculars that you never had time to slow down? If they teach you that slowing down is bad, you'll never learn to relax. After all, relaxation is a healthy part of life. Seven, you should be punished for making small mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. We spill things, we forget to do something, and so on. It happens. Most adults face no repercussions for spilling something or forgetting something though. So why punish a kid for similar acts? If you spill something or neglect to do something intentionally, that's a different story. But taking away privileges for making small mistakes that were totally accidental will only teach you to be afraid of making mistakes. And eight, it's okay to judge people. Are you so used to talking about other people? Are you generally intolerant of other people? If so, what do you think contributed to your behavior? Do your parents gossip or pass judgment about other people in your presence? If so, you may have unconsciously picked up on such behaviors in your childhood. In the end, what you learn in your childhood will serve you as the basis for your values and beliefs. Do you agree with the points mentioned? Have you been the recipient of such lessons or seen them occur around you? If so, let us know in the comments below. Also share this video with those you think might benefit from it. As always, thanks for watching.